from Mission Control Houston, and welcome as we get ready for the journey of four crew members from on board the International Space Station getting ready to head on home to planet Earth. I'm NASA's Dan Hewitt, coming to you live from the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center. On your camera, you're looking at a Dragon spacecraft. That's not the one we're actually going to be using today, uh, but the crew members will soon be loading into uh, the Dragon dock to the forward port on the International Space Station, loading in and getting ready to come home, and they are part of the NASA's SpaceX Crew-5 mission. They're going to be led throughout the flight back by NASA astronaut Nicole Mann. She's going to be wrapping up her first space flight alongside NASA astronaut and Crew-5 pilot Josh Cassida. Filling out the rest of the crew, we have Koichi Wakata from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. He's on the right there. He's the veteran. He actually just passed his 500th cumulative day in space just the other day, getting ready to wrap up another long duration stay on board the station. And then all the way on the left there, Rose Cosmos, cosmonaut Anna Kikina, also wrapping up her first mission. Here inside the room, Greg Whitney's leading the flight control team, and we are working in tandem right now with the uh, SpaceX flight control team out at Hawthorne. Uh, we're in integrated operations as we're going to continue to be uh, as Dragon departs and moves outside of the keep out sphere and the approach ellipsoid. Uh, but again, everything on track so far. We did the final go no go for undock uh, just a little while ago. And again, after we got through that weather checkpoint, everything is looking good. There we go, inside node two, looking at the hatchway. We can see all four of our crew members actually suited up and ready to go. You can see Anna Kikna on the left, and then that's Josh Cassidy, Nicole Mann, and then can't see him now, but Koichi Wakata there off to the right. And we've got a total of 11 people on board the space station right now. You've got three Russian cosmonauts, Sergei Prokopiev, Dmitry Patelin, and Andrei Fedeyev. Uh, along with the recently arrived Crew-6 astronauts, Steve Bowen and Woody Hoberg and Sultan Alniadi, uh, along with Andre. Um, and so packed house on board. It's been like that ever since Crew-6 arrived. Uh, we're about to go from 11 back down to 7 once Crew-5 departs. 7, uh, generally our steady state crew size on board the space station. Uh, we see Anna Kikina starting to make her way across. And here's our look inside. You can see Josh Cassida in the pilot seat, Nicole Mann getting into the commander seat. So your commander and your pilot, they're prime for uh, essentially doing any maneuvers, sending any commands that you need to um, throughout Dragon. Your two mission spe specialists that are flanking them or just helping them monitor. Um, everyone's essentially looking at data um, from the Dragon systems as it's in flight. Um, but if you do any actual manual piloting, that's uh, from your two folks in the middle. Uh, Nicole Mann and Josh Cassida, and that's something they train for. They train through different uh, contingencies and scenarios where um, if anything were to fail or anything not to track, um, they are able to take manual control and do piloting. Uh, but otherwise, Dragon flies completely autonomously. It will essentially do all of its burns to undock and depart. Dragon Endurance hatch is closed. Uh, we've got a command to send here, and you should see the flight computer state progress to hatch closed uh, imminently. Dragon copy. Looking at a live view of the Dragon Endurance spacecraft as we await its departure from the International Space Station so it can make its way back to planet Earth. It's Friday, March 10th here at SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California, and we're expecting the Dragon spacecraft to push away from the ISS at about 11.20 p.m. Pacific time, or about 2.20 a.m. Eastern time. On board will be our Crew-5 astronauts, including NASA's Nicole Mann, Joss Cassida, along with Japan's Koichi Wakata, and Roscosmos' cosmonaut Anna Kikina. The crew is currently suited and the Dragon and Space Station hatches are sealed in preparation for the upcoming departure opportunity. This is a live view from inside uh, Dragon Endurance. You've got Nicole Mann, your commander of Crew 5 on the left, and Josh Cassidy, a pilot on the right. You can see they are monitoring the uh, 
crew displays in front of them. Again, a fully autonomous flight uh, is what we anticipate, but that is where they would be able to take over and take control of the spacecraft if need be. However, things looking good for uh, that undock command to be sent approximately seven minutes from now. This is a really great view of the crew displays. So there are three displays in the Dragon spacecraft. On the left-hand side of the screen, you can actually see the forward view. So they're looking at uh, an imager that's looking at the docking port. And sort of in the upper right corner, they can actually see uh, a representation of which thrusters are firing on the vehicle. In the middle, they've got a set of their procedures. Um, so in this case, uh, it's what we refer to as event details, but it's really the list of events that'll happen as the vehicle transitions through all these states. And then they've got a map of where they are on the world, which also gives them some indication of when burns are upcoming. And then on the right side, it uh, looks like Josh has got a status page up of the vehicle. Um, you can sort of see there's a, a bar there on the left. Uh, if, he would, if we were to get any alerts or cautions on board the vehicle, he'd be able to quickly move from that page and, and address and triage those alerts and see if they have any impact or crew actions associated with them. All hooks open. All hooks open. Depart burn one has fired Dragon Endurance undocked 262 statute miles over and the Coral Dragon Sea. And Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. Separation confirmed. Second copy. We see it. So a successful separation, again, Dragon undocking at 1.20 a.m. Central Time, 2.20 a.m. Eastern Time with Dragon and Station flying 262 statute miles over the Coral Sea off the northeastern coast of Australia. So with that, Dragon now stepping in to Depart these burns zero burns. nominal. Dragon copy. All right, so undock burns completed, that depart burn zero completed. Next one coming up in just a couple of minutes, but with Dragon now flying free, I'm gonna toss it back over to Shiva and Leah at MCCX and Hawthorne to take us through the rest of the flight. Thanks a bunch, Dan. So we had some great shots there of the first depart burn. Uh, we're coming up on depart burn. So that was the depart burn zero, and now we're coming up on depart burn number one. Now this will be a short firing of the Dragon's Draco thrusters. The burn just lasting about 16 seconds. You can see that Dragon has begun to fly away from the space station and these initial depart burns essentially increase the range rate from the station so we can get away from the International Space Station and get out of uh, these various different spheres of control uh, around the vehicle that keep both of the vehicles safe. Station on the big loop. Red station. Duke and crew five, magnificent sunset departure. You guys look great. Great job up here. We're going to miss you. Godspeed. Awesome. Thank you, Frank, and the rest of the crew. We'll be following along. Some kind words exchanged between the crew members. Uh, the, uh, they were talking about the big loop. So there, that is the way that we refer to the combined communications between Mission Control and Johnson, the International Space Station, visiting vehicle, so Dragon, and then, uh, of course, controllers here in Hawthorne. 
Yeah, and we were talking about uh, the approach ellipsoid. So what we're in right now, where we're talking on that big loop, this is joint operations. Both mission control teams working together with Crew Dragon, with the space or with the space station, um, and we are actually coming right up on depart burn one. So that's what's going to take us up and over the station. Um, but yes, it, it must be a little. Oh, and confirmation that depart burn one has started. Again, this is about a 21 second burn uh, using those service section Draco thrusters. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop, depart burn one nominal, and we see Dragon on a nominal trajectory away from station. At this time, you are go to doff suits per procedure 4.012. And finally, I have a reminder that the big loop will be deactivated following Dragon's exit from the approach ellipsoid. Dragon copies and to the teams at NASA and SpaceX, thank you for an incredible expedition that has done your tireless efforts and attention to detail that have helped make this mission successful. I can't tell you how great it feels to be part of such an incredible team. And to the crew on board the International Space Station, you've got it. Make us proud. We'll be following along your mission. And to our friends and family, thank you for following along and being a part of our mission. It has been a privilege to add to the legacy. Semper Fidelis. It's absolutely overwhelming to be back in the way from the International Space Station and gain some perspective on the place we've called home for almost half a year. All of us on Crew 5 are incredibly proud of the work we've accomplished while we were there. And to everyone who had a role in Expedition 68, whether direct or indirect, you should feel the exact same way. We thank you, and we're excited to get back to that beautiful planet of ours and those wonderful people who live on it. Thank you. That was a uh, beautiful view of the uh, space station. I see uh, all the uh, mission control centers all over the world. Thank you very much for your support. It's a privilege and a pleasure to work with all of you at the mission control centers. And uh, it's mission to see a crew, Sergey, Dmitry, Frank, Steve, Woody, Sultan, and Andre. Bon voyage and we will be following along. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimashita. Kasiba bolsho. Thank you very much for everyone, for everybody, for everyone. I'm April 9th. We were really happy to have the fulfilled and incredible and done with the best of all in my life. And Dragon Houston on the big loop, Dragon has exited the keep out sphere. We wish you safe travels and looking forward to seeing you back on Earth. Copy, Houston. 